Yo, what's up guys? So, we're out here on Lake of the Woods, uh, mid-January. Not your typical time of the year you go up here to chase big pike, but we are out and we are giving it a try. Um, better than sitting at home. Better than sitting at home, yeah. We got up at like early. Um, yeah, we left, I think we left about, I don't know, 4, 4.30 today, so we can try to get up here by light up. Uh, you know, generally you think like shallow water, like late March, but these, you know, these fish, they, they all don't go out of the shallow water, you know, they're, they're up in shallow water the whole year. Um, so we're up here fishing in about five feet of water and just a pretty much a bay around the point, isn't it? Yeah, really not, nothing special about here. Um, it's hard to get around up here right now. So, I mean, you can't be, can't be crazy picky. Yeah, you know, unless you got something with tracks on it and. You know, if, if you can't, if you don't have to drag a bunch of crap up here, we just didn't want to. But we're gonna start out with uh, some, we got some smelt and we got some large suckers and creek chubs. Yeah, a couple creek chubs in there too. Everything else, so we're gonna get those down and hopefully we're gonna get a fish or two. Well, if you're seeing this, we got a fish or two. Heck yeah. Oh, let's get at her. All right, see you. All right. How we, uh, how we rigging and setting this smelt up today? Well. Nothing too crazy fancy, dead bait. Don't got a lot to a lot to do. Obviously make sure that your line's not wrapped around like it is. <laughs> oh. Okay. Alright, we're fishing with the silks, the sil silvery, I can't ever say Sullivan? Anymore. Sullivan tip downs and I've never really used them much, but here Scotty has and ain't gonna lie to you after today getting uh it's tight again. <laughs> <laughs> Here we got her. We are good. <laughs> but no, we're on smelt. No, but she's a camera whore. But biggest thing on these smelt, they're dead. So obviously, you want these things pointed down when they're actually in the water, kind of like a dying bait. So like doing behind the head, and then I'm just naturally I always kind of go behind the dorsal, just a hair. If you notice, when you hold this, it tips down just a, just a hair. So it's almost like a dying bait fish getting ready to sink to the bottom. So I guess for me, what I've learned the times I've played with these is I like to really set how that rod's gonna sit first because that's gonna play with your set height of where everything ends up. So now you know it's nice and parallel with the ice. Go through and there must have been a Little bit of ice was just sitting out here and the everything getting going. There she's flowing good. Yeah, just clear out a little bit of that. There we go. Now after that's all set, you got the bait clickers on here, which are pretty much freaking amazing. And for the way this has been going today, it seems like these fish really like it right on the bottom. What I mean on the bottom, if you see here. This right here sitting straight up and down. As they let out more line, get this thing closer to the bottom. Keep rolling. Keep getting it down there. You'll notice how basically that sits all nice and perpendicular. Keep standing up. Keep standing up. Keep standing up. That's what I mean. If it's nice to already have this preset for your angle. So when you're letting line out, you don't all of a sudden let go. Now I'm on bottom. What I like to do instead of actually taking this all out, you can just take the spool just a little bit, give it a little bit of rotation, just get that angle. And right there, I know it's sitting like about a 45, so it's just laying on the bottom. Other than that, it's that simple. Bait clicker on, walk away, wait for it to tip down, and smash the fish. Nice one. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I got, yeah, I reviewed. Uh huh. Head. Nice one. Mm -hmm. You can make a little short little thing on this one. Oh yeah. Just let me know if you need me to. Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> the cot. Oh boy. <laughs> Big head. Yeah. 
your head. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh. Big. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Layla, back up. Uh -huh. Look at that water moving. It's big, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like it could be 40, close to 40. Layla, back. Oh, that's a nice fish. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. That's be up close. I don't know if it'll make 40. No, I'd probably say high 30s. Right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, Layla. Layla, over here. Yes. Layla, now. Come here, Layla. That's what the 50 inches do. Ooh. Heavy. Bigger than the uh, <laughs> oh, bigger than the last one? Way bigger than the last one. Uh, now I got that's that's just flat weight. Good. Uh, now it's got a little smaller. Something got <laughs> maybe, maybe it might just be running at us. It's running hard right away. It was, I think it was taking some line. Could be tricking you. You think Layla? You look at a lot of just dead weight when I'm trying to pull against them. Uh huh. That's it like, feels handy. I'll bet it. I bet it is. You're just playing possum on you. Oh, felt something like pop right in the corner of the ice. It feels heavier, yeah. Lay the back. Oh, dude. Big. I think it's bigger than mine. That, that was... <laughs> uh-huh. Lay the back. Lay the back. <sighs> it felt heavy there. If I had a stick, I could hit it. It comes up the hole. Oh, look at that. Dude, it's thick, too. Like, I girthy. Right here, it's heavy. Lay that back. Oh, that's a dead weight, dude. He's hung up. That's a big fish, dude. Really big. That's where he's hung up at. He's just... Can we give you slack? Oh. Yeah, he's, he's just sitting on the, on the side of the hole here. Dude, that's... That looks like a 40-incher. He just... He's just sitting there. Dude, this thing's so big. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not. Get the... Can you take this thing apart right here and knock it? <laughs> oh, that's big. <laughs> yeah, pull poke him down. I'm just I'm trying to get his head. Dude, this, this isn't big. This is monster. Look at that. Oh, God. Loose? No, it's just his. He, oh, he's wrapped. Oh my god. Okay, here he comes. I'm putting this down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we got Layla. Oh, over here. Layla. Oh. Layla, come on. There you go. Oh, Back in there. Oh, look how fast that is. Dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Come on. There it goes. What a monster, dude. Woo! Brush pile. Hey! Same thing, it's running again. Still rolling. Brush pile, folks. Part of the brush pile, right? There. This is big. It is. This is big. Sullivan tip down. 45, remember? That was the next one that we were going to catch. Right. 
Sullivan tip down 42 inch Vulcan tuned up custom rods. Just caught a what? 42 incher on there. Same rod. I think we got another high 30, maybe even another 40 on there, you know. Oh, it's gonna be, I think it's close to 40 anyway. Yeah, it looked big. Here it comes. You gotta know, get his head up. Oh yeah, that's oh, a nice geez. fish. That's a nice fish. <laughs> can you you want you want, you want some help or you want to try to? Cause I can go and if you can get him, I won't. I think I can get him. Okay. Not, he's got he's not long. Nice he's long. God, it's really cool to have some forceps. <laughs> yeah, I think this is another forty. I think we might have to move a couple of these. Uh-huh. Layla oh. back. <laughs> Layla back. Oh yeah. This thing's freaking cat. Oh yeah. It's another, yeah, I'd say close to 40. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll you want me to grab the tape? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep in the water here. Here we go. One. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be about 38. Nope, 36. Oh, that's a freaking yeah. big 36. Chunky 36 inch here. Going Layla. back in the water. Heck yeah. Alright, get them back in the water. Safely. Boom. Gone. Gone. Okay, nice little picture of you and the sun in there. I keep missing fish because I always trying to help me catch a big one. The last one I set the hook down. That one? Yeah, we had one that here just, I don't know, it could have been more than a minute or so ago. I just got it back down and looked over yeah. and here's this one going. This one, I don't know how, how big it really is yet. It's got some weight though. It's a big fish. It's starting to get pretty uh, pretty chilly out, guys. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping this is one more nice one because I might just say screw it and go get some Subway today. This is a, this is a nice fish. Nice one. Okay, awesome guys. No, it's actually been a fun day out here. We haven't, like I said, we haven't caught a hundred fish, but we've caught some quality fish. Yeah. We had a couple mid thirties, a couple like around that 36. We had a one at 42. Then we had- That thing was such a freaking monster. Oh, a toadish. And that's like me, like right now, it's, I was hoping we could get a second 40, one for each of us today. And it's, it's thick, dude. It's, Seriously. So that's kind of what we're hoping for here right now. If we can get Layla, what do you see? I think this is. Are they? Think so? Kind of the one the back. Does it? That's what we like to hear. Oh. That way we can get the hell out of here. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and. Uh, yeah, we're we're skipping burgers. We're going straight to Subway. Get some food. Been kind of a long day out here. These rod setups have been working pretty Oh hard. my god, actually for the first time I've fought fish like this with ice fishing rods like that, and I ain't gonna lie to you, it's, oh, I thought I had just, just like I had another seven and a half footer, you know, like out summer fishing. I had complete control today. A lot more fun than the old school hand over hand. Yeah, I just think you got a better chance of getting them in. Yeah. You really do. Yeah. I think I think we got a big one here, guys. A lot more control over the fish. I was worried that time, so I literally grabbed the spool. I know. <laughs> yeah, we had a, issues on this rod a couple of times. We backed off on the drag for, I think it was like a 36 you had, and then two times we each forgot to tighten this thing up, and we lost two fish on the hook set because of it. So it's one thing. Always make sure your drag is good to go. It's big. I know it is. I told you it was big when I seen it running. Hey guys, we had a battle here. <laughs> oh, toad. It's a little sunset. We're just gonna get a quick measurement on this guy. 
Yeah, that's gonna, that's, that's over 40. Right there. 40 and a three quarter. 40 and three quarter. Hey, look, hey, let's get one more good picture here. With that sunset in the behind you is gorgeous. Okay. Okay, guys. 43 quarter, that's two over 40 today here. That is just a toad. Beautiful fish. Here we go. All right, we're gonna let him go. Want a picture? What? All right, we'll let him go. 43 quarter, you guys. Well, you guys, we had a pretty freaking epic day. <laughs> yes, we did, huh? Did we, Leila? Hey, Leila. come over here. Leila was the good luck charm today. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're just fishing a kind of an in-cut by a bay. Yeah, there's really nothing, nothing fancy about it. Just normal Lake of the Woods kind of structure, you know? Ain't like you're gonna find no massive points or no big drop-off, it's just right spot, right time. Yeah, fishing five feet of water? Yeah, we were. Five feet of water, we ended up getting all of our big fish on, on smell. I think we had two bites on live bait. Two bites on live bait and one fish on live bait. Yep. Uh, Tony got a 42. I got a couple 36s and he was feeling really sad for me because I couldn't <laughs> catch a 40. And he just kept letting me take rods. I, I, I missed one over here, missed one over there. And then finally he said, over here, this is it. And that, that was literally right after I set the hook and missed that one over there. Yeah. Went over, set the hook, 40 and three quarter. You guys saw it. Problem, and, problem was it was it was hooked in the gill plate right here and we couldn't, you know. Yeah, because it actually went through it and sucked the bait in. It looked like it actually sucked it through and then it kind of like hooked up and then mm -hmm. the line wrapped back around and caught the treble. So I was trying to pull the fish up sideways and ended up, there's we, not a lot of hole to we do took that. The, we took the Sullivan tip down apart, tried using that and we ended up <laughs> He ran and grabbed a separate rod quick, dropped the other set of treble hooks down, hooked its nose, got it up. You Whoa. guys didn't see that because, I mean, it was a It sea. was a mess. Yeah. It was. But, uh. What those big fish always do to you, though? They yeah. never make it easy. That was wild. That was, that was, that was a nice, nice, nice girthy fish. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was a 20 pound fish. For everybody that's in the fish donkey tournament, that was a 40 and three quarter inch fish. <laughs> and I didn't enter it because the tape Wait. I had just had a rip in it and I didn't want to keep the fish out of the water yeah, for 10 minutes. We already minutes. stressed that fish out pretty yeah, good. Yeah, it was. It needed back. Uh, but it, it, it took off nice and strong. So we were uh, pretty thankful for that. But yeah, great day. It was fun. Stuff we're using. This tuned up custom rods, 42 inch Vulcan with an Okuma Seamar 1000 series, 20 pound suffix ipe sprayed. And then you can see this is actually just a homemade you can you can buy quick strikes you know i just i don't like the the y-shaped ones you no. know that, that have the spit here because sometimes when you're getting a pike up the hole one of those hooks will catch on the ice yeah it's nice to have them all in line like that if you can yeah and this one here is just a homemade quick strike and i will say like i'm not a guy that does anything with certain kind of rods i have rods i like but for what we were doing today i've never fished with them quite like this i mean having that 42 on that was flat out amazing yeah i once once they once i got last year I, I tried out this 42 inch Vulcan and, and I said, hey, I gotta get I gotta get some more of these. And yeah, it, it literally, like I said, it felt like I was fighting a fish that was on my seven foot rod during summer. It was, it was made awesome. it easy. Yeah. yeah. No. So that was a rod and then here, Sullivan tip down, team green. That's where it's at. Green <laughs> catches bigger fish. Proving. Yeah, proving today. Proving. I mean, literally we had four fish over 35 today and any day pike fishing, yeah. that's. And two fish over 40. Yeah, you know how often do you get that? Yeah, and it's mid-January. Yeah, you know, it's Stay the out of there, bud. It's crazy. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna put the link for some of the tip downs in there. I'm gonna put the link for the tuned up rods below. Um, appreciate you guys watching. You know, I haven't put out a bunch of videos. Just I like to do that. <laughs> it's just been difficult with all the snow. But oh, uh, peace out. Wait.